Okay, welcome. This is Barbara Bertuzzi, and I'm calling from CP Beach, Florida. And I'm so privileged and honored to have as my guest today, Minx Boren, a master certified coach credentialed through the International Coach Coaching Federation, a motivational speaker, a poet, which is where I learned from about her first. And I have a great story about that. And an author, co-author of 16 books, an elder activist, currently on the Leadership Council, Council of Elders Action Network, a board member of the Women's Foundation for 13 years, past president of Executive Women of Palm Beaches, and more. Wait, there is more. Hang on. In her roots, Minx taught cooking for natural gourmet in New York, New York City, um, starting more than 40 years ago, practicing as a nutritionalist there, and now as a health-wise coach, offering a broad range of services, and she even taught at the university down in the West Palm area. And just so glad to have Minx born on here today. Uh, Minx, so I just am so grateful, and I've been reading your book, um, and I'm just gonna share that, and then we're gonna go back into, her book is titled, Decades of Gratitude, Gusto, Grit, and Grace. And what I love about this is that she writes about the view from the 72nd floor. Okay, now she said it's the 75th floor. <laughs> but <Right. laughs> I tell you, her energy and her vitality will blow you away. Sometimes she runs circles around all of us, as you could hear of all the things that she's doing. So um, we know that Nikan's all about health and wellness, and you've been my dearest friend and luckily uh temple's great friend for many years so through osmosis and that and through all the things you've examined tried um and played with you've been using nikem for many years yourself you want to go ahead and share oh my god where do i begin so i think i started using the back magnets um that that thing that you put on your back when you're driving somewhere or when you're achy and because I exercise a lot, I think that that's where I started. I started with the magnets and I don't even know how much, many years ago, because when you saw my magnet and we upgraded, you said, this is like one of the antiques. It was like the original from that way back when. Um, there are so many Nikan products that I use. So let me do it this way. Let me start this way. When Any I way you about, want to go, Minx, it's awesome. We're so okay. glad to have you on. Um, so when I talk about health and wellness and having the energy because to, to really continue to live a full life for as long as possible, and I am 75 now, and I'm still working full time and exercising two hours a day, for me, there are four pillars of of health and well-being and that I'm very careful to keep my life. And what I want to say before I start is sometimes when I do this, people really get overwhelmed. Please don't. Start where you are. I started because I was really sick and because I had a really sick child and I needed to do something. And it's like one tiny step at a time and 50 years later, it's a lot of steps. So just keep that in mind so that you don't, the reaction is sometimes, oh my God, she just does so much, I can't do that. Well, you don't know that. You start somewhere. So if I were to look at NECAN, the first pillar is getting enough sleep, really good quality sleep. It makes all the difference. And so NECAN, let's see, what do I, I use the sleep system. I use that, what's the blue blanket? whatever that's called, the one that's that the, I wrapped around travel, my head. The someone... travel comforter. <laughs> and now we have it as okay. a cocoon. <laughs> okay, so I use that. Not only do I use that, but my husband just had surgery like two months ago. So he came home from the hospital. The first thing I did was wrap him in it. And then I put him on the grounding mat um, to lie on just to begin the healing process. And then if you think about, oh, then there's the air filter which is like right next to my bed at night. Um, and we have them in, in all the various places where we spend a lot of time. So there's that, which of course helps with the quality of sleep. And then what's that blue thing? You see, I don't know the names of them. I just tell no, Barbara, I'm out of the, the blue awesome. thing that spins. 
Oh, <laughs> What's the, the blue the thing Mag Duo. that I put in my bed? The Mag Duo? Oh, okay. no, no. She's talking about the Kinko Touch is the new version of that. And um, she okay. has it plugged in in her bed and she spins it uh, before uh, or a couple of times a night. Ours now turns on. Well, I use it before we go to sleep. Um, it, it just runs all night. <laughs> um, I don't know. So, and my dog loves it. I, and so would kind of like, like to sleep near it. So there's that going on. Um, You've got the so water. So I, You've got the water. Oh, well, so let's go to exercise next. So in exercise, once again, that back magnet, I was a marathon runner for years and I still do, I do two hours of exercise every day. So I either spin or I walk. I don't run anymore. Um, and then I do some kind of weight, uh, weight training, yoga, all of that stuff. And so I, the back magnet, if my it's pesky or tight, I use that. And then what are the the things that massage my feet inside my shoes? So when I'm walking, your insoles, the foot magnets. The, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, the insoles. <laughs> um, so I use those when I'm walking, especially if I'm walking long distances, because I go out with a weighted vest on and I walk for an hour to an hour and a half a day. And that's mm. one of the ways I deal with keeping up my bone density as I get older. So that's yeah. kind of in the area of exercise, pillar two. And then, um, so there's food. So there's the whole water system that's in my kitchen. And that not only do I use it for me, but when I get fresh vegetables, I, I grow them in my fr fridge is the best way to put it. So I lop off the very bottom so that they can absorb the water. And then I stick them in the pie water. And then I put some kind of something over them to create like a terrarium. And all my herbs and all my celery and broccoli sit that way in the fridge. So I'm just going to underline up, that. Like a that. That's really brilliant. And I have, I've been doing my... Um, lettuce that way a long time but i haven't done all my herbs and my cilantro but she takes the bottom door rack and puts jars in there and puts a little bit of water in the bottom and cuts off the bottom of the vegetable or the the greens and puts them in there and puts a bag right, so it has a fresh of, bottom draped over and they're hydrating up they're doing an amazing hydration so um yeah so that's awesome, Minx. And she also started growing her own herbs as well. It's amazing. That's right. Yeah. And not only that, I actually, I, I compost. So I have what are called red wiggler, red, red wiggler worms. And I feed them pie water. I mean, I spray them with, with the, the water from the filter um, every day. Because yeah. they have to be kept hydrated. They're, they're like 90% water. Um, so there's the water. And then there's the shake. So the chocolate one, the vanilla like one. Kinsen, uh, Kinsen Vital Balance. Yep. Okay. See, that's uh, names I don't remember. I just you know nicknamed it. it Katie. The morning shake. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a whole, a whole and, bill replacement. It's really a, a great thing. Right. Well, it's my, first of all, um, one of the things that I do is basically I eat all my meals in an eight hour window. What is that called? Uh, something fasting of. Uh, Periodic fasting. is a word. Intermittent fasting. Intermittent I've been fasting. doing that for a long time. So I stop eating by about eight o'clock at night and I don't eat until noon the next day. Now I have pie water in the morning um, with apple cider vinegar and, but I don't really eat a meal. And by then I've done at least one of the two hours of exercise. So my first replenishment is this high protein boost that gets me going. So that's the first thing I eat every day. And at then noon. you eat that at noon. That's your first meal at noon or at one. It depends. So I okay. fast for somewhere between depends on what time, if we went out to dinner or not, um, somewhere between 15 and 17 hours between my last meal at night and my first actual meal. Yeah. Now I have celery juice, which is basically 90% water that I have at about 10 o'clock in the morning. And that's been growing in pie water before I have it. It's and, amazing how much it hydrates. Um, and, and, yeah. up, and then you're getting, it's kind of cleansing it, detoxing it as well. You know, it, it's <coughs> fortifying it a little bit. And so, um, we, um, I, I just love that because you get more juice. Right, we've been juicing mm -hmm. as well. 
So Minx, you've been an inspiration to me. And I remember uh, Temple sharing when she first met you, the main thing was she opened up the fridge and was like, oh my gosh, what is all this stuff? Like, we had no clue of what you're eating. But you've gotten uh, in and we have, you know, just really taken on some beautiful things to help us get uh, the colors of the rainbow in our diet to eat um, a little bit different. We're vegetarians, you're not. I've actually started eating a little bit of fish here and there and a little bit of meat. <clears throat> just a little bit of red meat every so often. Um, I find I need it, and I think you did too. Yeah, so let me talk a little bit about that because I've kind of done it every way you can do it over all the years. When I taught for Natural Cormet, I was pure vegan. I actually stayed pure vegan probably for a dozen years, and it was a time of cleaning out. My son had asthma. He was never a vegan, but, and I don't want to go into that whole story. It's, we could spend the whole time on that. But in the course of healing him, I learned a tremendous amount. And then what happened is as a marathon runner, I literally couldn't keep my weight on. And I went to someone named Dr. Dadamo, who wrote the book, um, Eat Right for Your Blood Type. Mm -hmm. And as a type O, I need animal protein. So I personally do better. Even if I balance perfectly vegan, it doesn't work for me. That doesn't mean it doesn't work for other people. And the other thing I want to say about any food program is there's no one food program that works for everyone. And there's no one food program that works for anyone all the time. What I needed as a 25 year old doing what I was doing and running marathons is not what I need as a 75 year old. So it's paying attention, really listening to my body all the time, which brings up something else. The fourth pillar, which we hadn't touched on, is nurturing your spirit, your spirituality, whatever you want to call it, having a, um, a practice where you actually listen to yourself, tune in, listen in. I've been a journal keeper for a lifetime, which is how decades got written, as did all my other books get written. Uh, so I always take time during the day to reflect, to be quiet, to meditate first thing in the morning. So I go outside and I walk barefoot. I stand barefoot on the ground. So I'm doing what's called grounding for about 15 minutes. And I meditate standing up and then I do some Tai Chi. And that's like the first thing. And then I do that funny, so what's the song you and I do, Barbara? Oh, Every cell in song. my body is happy. Every little yeah. cell in my body. It's to Aunt Jemima, guys. Every little cell in my body uh -huh. is happy. Every little cell in my body is well. I'm so glad. I'm so I'm glad. glad. Every I'm little so cell glad. in my body is little well. Little cell my body is well. Happy, so I do well, that. vibrant. You fill it in with all the words, and I do mine in the shower. She does hers grounding. Okay. I do mine in the shower. So great. Awesome. So I want to say something else about grounding, because then I come inside and I use the Nikan, the whatever it's called, the, what I call the grounding mat. Yeah, that's and it. And it's under my desk. I plug it in. I sit barefoot when I'm working at my computer and my feet are on the grounding mat because I can't be outside enough hours a day given that I still work full time. But that's one of the ways I, I keep grounding all day long. I don't know if you knew that. Did you know that? No, that's great. That's awesome. I, I know I use mine under my hands when I'm typing. I folded it up and I sometimes put it on my lap or I, or I do it right on, on my uh, laptop computer where mm. my hands rest. So it helps protect us and it helps. I think of it as fortifying our energy field um, because there's so many things we're getting bombarded with. So, Minx, I'm going to um, share. Uh, one of your poems, it's on your bookmarker, so I figure it's one of your one of the ones oh, okay. <laughs> to share. And it's on giving thanks. She's also written for Blue Mountain uh, cards and arts. And this is one that I had. I, went, I should have done a little bit better homework. But anyway, Healing is a Journey. Well, I used to do, I've, I've written two books for Blue Mountain. One is Healing is a Journey and one is Friendship is a Journey. So if you're talking about the bookmark, it must be the Friendship is a Journey one because I give that bookmark out Well, I have whenever one I meet called, people. Oh, yeah, Friends and Giving Thanks. So, uh -huh. um, so this is on uh, giving thanks. 
considering that we are none of us wise enough or strong enough or clever enough or creative enough alone, how considerate and necessary it is that we remember time and again to turn to one another with gratitude and respect. And I love that, Minx Porn. I put your website on the chat for everybody. Um, it's coachminx.com uh, for those that are listening. So get your pen out or re-listen because there was lots of great nuggets in here. And, um, and Balance Point, if they go to their website, they can sign up for Balance Point or how do they get on Balance Point? Yeah, um, so the first thing you need to know is I never spam and I never use the, um, when people sign up, I never use that list basically for anything other than I send out a Balance Point. They send it out every other week. It's based on a coach model, which is that, so some, a thought to consider and then the next piece is some questions to ask yourself based on that thought. The third one is some actions that you might want to take. So that's pure coaching. And then there's always a poem. And then on the right-hand side, I feature someone who is doing something bold um, in the world. Right. The coming week, oh. actually. Mm -hmm. it, the one that's coming out this week. So let me just t tell you because it's wonderful. Her name is Louise Minor. And she's, she's a singer. She, she sings. She just loves to sing. So she sings in a choir. She also sings in a choir with Alzheimer's, people with Alzheimer's. Uh -huh. And they do fabulously well because people remember songs. And so I'm featuring her and I'm talking about why we all need to sing, especially in a pandemic. So if you sign up today, then it'll be in your mailbox Tuesday. Come back Tuesday oh, nice. morning at 10 every other Tuesday. Yeah. And they'll sign up on your, from your website? You sign up on the website. If you scroll down, I think it's on the bottom on the right-hand side. Oh, There's great. a sign up, and then when you do that, it, it automatically goes to sign you up on the, on the, on, um, for the balance point. And if you don't get it, just let Barbara know, and I'll forward it to you. So I have happy a, a really that. fun story that I'm going to share. Oh, okay. <laughs> and Minx has And I still amazing... have time, so I'm good coffee top book called Ripe. And it is the most amazingly beautiful and provocative, <laughs> sensuous yeah. book. And she got the, the artist to paint pears. So they look like little butts and little people and little, or, or boobs, you know, the, the different- fruit, things. the fruit. The fruit. The fruit of these poems are just tremendous. And, um, and actually, that's how um, my relationship started. <laughs> it's through Minx's book. <clears throat> so oh, Minx, I give you total so great. credit for our relationship starting. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. That's fun. I love that. Yeah, it's beautiful, um, beautiful, beautiful. So how that book came about, here's something interesting. And it goes back to growing older with gratitude, gusto, grit, and grace. It's that I was, I coach a lot. And so I was talking to women who said, oh, come on, when you get older, there's no sex. Is that, you know, you dry, you dry up, you become a grandma, whatever the myths are that we all have. And I went, hell no. And <laughs> I have all this really sensual, sexual poetry, but I'd never published it. And so I went to my husband and I said, do you think I could actually put this out in the world? And right around that time, the woman who's the artist who I'm, I partnered with to do this is a magnificent artist in California. And she was painting sexy pears. And I said, we could do this together. And that's how that book happened. And it caused a lot of people to open up and look at what are the ways that I'm ripe and passionate. And it doesn't necessarily always have to be sexual or sensual, but we are. We're, we're sensual beings and we need to pay attention. It's, you're never too old. You never, uh, you know, my motto is we all are aging. We don't need to get old. And with that, um, one last thing, anything you want to share, Minx? Because uh, we'll be on next week, October 1st. I'm excited to have her on live. And um, let's see, any, any last nugget? Like um, oh, you know what I could say in, in the last moment, because this is like, I'm always doing something new. So my newest project is called Purpose Journals. 
and they're, they're starting to be available on Amazon. You'll find out about them if you go on my website. But what I want people to do is take time to sit, be with themselves, listen deeply for their own inner wisdom, and then write it down. So I, and so I've been, years ago, whose quote is it? The unexamined life is not worth living. And so I'm always looking at my own life. What do I need to see? What's alive in me now? What matters to me now? And then move in that direction. So my newest project is this, is our purpose journals. And all of my 16 books have come out of things that were originally in journals. That's what's a bit amazing for me um, with decades of gratitude, gusto, grit, and grace. Because it got me journaling. Sometimes when I travel, I end up journaling like, I did this today, I did that today, I went there. And all of a sudden, I got in a little rut of what I was writing. <clears throat> now, I do some spirit writing in the morning. I do journaling, a, a different type of writing in the morning, more prayer. But this, you've got great questions and great, um, uh, your aha moments and just your different, the chapters don't need to be read in order either. You can open up and read certain ones. I mean, I'm a, I'm a grandma and I was over there and I, you had some great questions for the grandma, you know, and, and looking at it. And my son at, actually asked me, mom, you know, how is it, you know, seeing your grandkids and stuff and what's the, the nugget? And I had written down, it was just so beautiful to see my son raising a son, you know, two sons. Yeah. And, and, mm. and you gave me that, Minx. You gave me that when oh, to think so and ponder before, and then they asked me the question, and I really had a heartfelt share instead of just an off-the-cuff share. So this is yeah. Minx Bourne and Barbara Bertuzzi. Y'all, we, this is... This, I mean, I didn't tell you, this is my debut of interviewing. And so we'll have oh. you live <laughs> next week. <clears throat> and thank you, guys. Perfect. Yes. Thank you.